G'day guys, it's James and Tom here from Total Balance Chiropractic. Today we're going to be going through some great advice to help you guys get a great night's sleep. Uh, one of the most important components to a good night's sleep is actually getting your pillow height right for your body shape and size. So I'm going to use Tom as our little sleep test dummy. He's going to demonstrate and we're going to use a pile of towels because it's just a really easy, simple way um, for us to adjust the height uh, until we can get it to the point where it's, it's nice and comfortable and, and it'll provide great support through the night. So Tom, if you want to jump on there for me. Okay, so the key to this, guys, is to, is to go a little bit by feel, okay? What we know is that when your pillow height is too low, as your head drops down, it tends to drag your body forward. Whereas if we get to a point where your pillow is too high, it tends to roll your body backwards. So a little easy test is to just have someone standing by the bed, pushing backwards and forwards. You can probably see there that Tom's shoulder rolls forward pretty easily. Whereas when I go to push it back, it's not really going very far at all. The other thing is, uh, Tom will just notice as we get closer and closer to the ideal height that he starts to feel more and more relaxed, his body feels more and more at ease, he won't be aware of any tension in his neck, back, shoulders or, uh, or anywhere up and down the rest of his body. So what we're going to do is just chuck a little bit of extra height underneath this just to show you. So we tested this earlier and so we know that by chucking that whole pile of, of towel on there we're going to be pushing him a little bit too high because now we can start to see his shoulder rolling back whereas it doesn't really want to come forward to the same degree that it did before. Okay, now we tested earlier, and we know that if we drop it down to this leg here, what we've now got is a nice stable body that doesn't go backwards, it doesn't go forwards. Tom will tell you that that feels nice and relaxed. Tom, how are you feeling there? Yeah, it's good. Pretty good. If we turn the lights out, he'd probably be asleep in a couple of minutes. Now the interesting thing is, people become really, really sensitive to little changes. If we just take away one layer there, I'm just get Tom to relax on that again. He's going to be a bit more fidgety, a bit less relaxed. His body just rolls forward just that little bit. Um, and you can really feel, it's like the princess and the pea, you can really feel the difference between, what, once you've had it right, between what's not quite right in terms of a little bit too high, a little bit too low. Which of those are you happy with, Tom? The previous one you liked it Okay, so it's really worthwhile spending a bit of time to get this right. Yeah, and you're spending at least eight hours a day in bed, you want to make sure you're relaxed and, and uh, you know, waking up feeling as fantastic as, as you went to bed. Now, the other thing you'll notice here is that that looks pretty high. Okay, It's probably a bit higher than, uh, than uh, most of the pillows that you guys are sleeping on. It's a really simple reason for that. Just don't think it's okay. If you look at Tom's body when he la he's laying on bed, people have this idea that our spine should run sort of parallel with the sleep surface. But Tom's shoulders are a, a fair bit wider than his hips. So what that means is that the midline of his body, as we get closer to the head, is actually moving further and further away from the sleep surface. So the width of your pillow usually ends up being a little bit more than the width of your shoulder. Um, and the other thing is you want your pillow to be nice and firm so it's going to be able to support the weight of your head over the course of the night and it's not going to squash down. Okay, so if you'd like some further information, uh, you can click on the link uh, that we've added, uh, which will take you through to this week's blog, which will go through this stuff in a bit more detail, talk about uh, the sort of mattresses you should be looking for, um, and also just give you another rundown on, on how to do that. Uh, but try that out tonight and uh, see if that doesn't get you a better night's sleep.